Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again today. And been a while since I've done a video, but I thought I would do a quick one on attaching your quick system info report to a forum post, an MX forum post that you might be making for a help or support request. So let's just go over that real quick. So I'm gonna go into the MX forum and I'm gonna scroll down here to MX help. Now there's other categories you might pick, but in the help, at the top of the help, it asks you, when asking for help, use quick system info from MX Tools. It'll be properly formatted for the forum. And this is uh, mostly true. So we're going to make a post. I'll just make it in help. But there's other places that you might want to make the post, but check out the categories. You can also go up to create new category here and go directly to one. MX help is good. So I'm making a new post. And I'm going to say, uh, I cannot log in to desktop or something whatever your problem is and you should always you should say that's a nice descriptive subject line and then you should say something like I changed my home folder and now I cannot log in or whatever give some description of the circumstances that led you to this point if possible how you can reproduce how we can reproduce the problem so that we can help you okay or is it so other forum members can help you then you want to make sure to attach your quick system info report and that's in the menu quick system info it is mostly inxi output which is a handy utility that generates all sorts of nice information about your computer there's a few other things in here that are mx specific and we do filter out a few things uh, like serial numbers and things like that to try to make the information not uh, you know, some people don't like any kind of unique identifiers, so we try to filter that stuff out. Um, it gives us all kinds of information. It gives us driver information and devices detected for your graphics. It gives you us audio stuff, network, uh, what partitions you have active uh, if you're using swap. Uh, it get, this is an important one. It tells us what repos you have enabled. Uh, and a few other odds and ends. It'll also tell us if you're running a snapshot, if you're running live, or if or or installed, or if you're using UEFI, what your boot style is. Okay, so it'll it'll tell us several things. And if we hit the copy for form button, or we right click and hit copy, or we hit Control C, uh, whatever we have selected, and if we don't have anything selected, the entire report will be copied. I hit Control C. Uh, into a post with properly formatted code tags. These tags here allow the fancy code box that you get inside our forum so that we can have a big text file, a big block of text inside a little box so we can scroll and search it and everything. We do prefer text uh, output to screenshots. Sometimes a screenshot is what you have to do and screenshots are nice if you're having trouble with a GUI you can draw an arrow to the problem spot or whatever. Uh, but if at all possible when we ask for logs and things, we, we, we would like them in text form. Speaking of logs, if you're depending on what kind of problem you have, like say you're having a problem with the NVIDIA driver, you might see instructions somewhere to, to supply the DDM log. Uh, you can do that manually. It's in slash var slash log slash DDM dot log, and it's, it's most log files in, 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 in Linux are in the slash bar slash log file. And there's all sorts of files in here. But we also make it easy in the quick system info tool. You can just swing down here to ddm.log and get the information. And the same rules apply. Copy or form, it'll be in a code tag. Sometimes the block of information that we need is too big for the for the text. Some of the really big logs like syslog or sometimes the ddm log gets pretty long. Uh, you can also attach them as a file with a save button. It'll save it off to a user accessible file. And then you can attach that file to a post with the attachment button down here. So you got your quick system info. You got whatever logs people have asked for. You've got your description. You've got the steps to reproduce or the steps that you took to get to this point. And you're good to go. Click submit and hopefully someone will help you. Uh, either a forum member, which there are a lot of these days, and, and oftentimes dev members will stick their nose in, particularly if it's a problem with one of the MX tools. If you have a bug with an MX tool, you can also file that over at our Bugzilla, and there's a link for the bug tracker uh, in the, um, uh, here at the top of the page. That's mostly for bug reports, though, not for support, not for support requests. 
and that's it. Click submit and you're done. So for tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to AnnexLinux.com or MXLinux.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.